Welcome to Udine. I'm in Castle Square of this town to present the Wizard of the Tower, also known as Archimedes from Udine. Behind my back you can see this singular building which for a long time was the seat of an astronomical observatory where lots of keen scientists met and studied. Are you curious to discover the character we want to tell you about? You may not believe it, but Udine, though so small, was the first European town to be electrically lit after London and Milan, and all this thanks to our Archimedes discoveries. And that's not all, it was one of the first towns where they built a real heat power plant. We're talking about the end of the 19th century. Our mysterious wizard of the tower worked inventing the future and he was not scared of it. He did not listen to the world sounds except for those which stirred his restless creativity. This is how Helena Comessati, a nowadays scholar fascinated by his genius, describes him. His ingenuousness was well known also in Berlin, where it was exploited for the production of the first electric taxis, small cars which could reach the speed of 16 km per hour, and which were used until the outbreak of the First World War. Our fellow citizen was so modern to anticipate the idea of above-ground public transport. In fact, he supported the project of a tram public service, which could link up Udine with Tricesimo and Tarcento. He was a practical person, yet he looked at the sky. On 10th May of 1923, he noticed a swarm of stars of rare beauty, which he classified as a nebula. His perception of the absolute fact vacuum of interplanet space as its origin in his studies about the chemical vacuum of a bulb. These studies made Edison want to meet him. Now it's time to reveal his name, Arturo Malignani. We are right in front of Isis Arturo Malignani. Some of the first protopies of bulbs are kept there. He made them with glass cuets which answered the perfect vacuum, thanks to the invention of the four-cylinder pump. This patent improved Edison invention. The bulbs made by the American inventor, in fact, did not last long and produced a weak like. In addition, the pump used by Edison to empty the bulbs required mercury, a very toxic substance for workers. In 1896, the method for the production of the industrial chemical vacuum of electric bulbs was sold to the American business company. Thanks to the contribution of Arturo Malignani, the duration of bulbs increased from 100 to 800 hours. The time production was dropped to one minute, so their costs were reduced too. Thanks to this patent, Malignani became the richest person in Udine, so he could continue his research and start new business activities. We must also mention his meteorological studies, particularly significant in our rainy region, which brings us back to the place where we started. In the tower, in fact, in addition to the astronomic observatory, he set up a weather station where he recorded temperatures, precipitation and wind directions. Did we make you curious to know more? Read the files kept in the archives of the Science and Technology Museum in Milan. Or come to the premiere of the show we are preparing in his honor, which will be performed in our school next June.